in this previous in the previous video uh, we captured a screen image of your project site and then here uh, using Rhino 3D um, we will trace uh, geometries from the sitemap so I open just Rhino uh, and then what you are going to do uh, is we are going to use a command called picture frame so I just type uh, picture frame and I will hit enter then it will ask you to select a JPEG file you saved in the previous video so I select the site and open then actually you have to click twice the first one is actually uh, the bait the top the first corner of picture frame which is top uh, bottom left corner so I select ones here and then probably it will rotate so to restrict the rotation I'll press shift and then uh, I just kind of just and then click anywhere far away uh, to fix the size of it so this is the image that we imported and then I will uh, enlarge the top view by clicking this top uh, uh, menu here uh, then then actually what we have to do is actually uh, matching the scale to the right size so what we know so far is this bar is actually 20 feet uh, the image is a little bit um, not so clear but ex but it is okay that this one is actually 20 feet bar so I'll first check what is the um, the actual uh, distance in this image so I will use dimension and linear dimension menu and then I'll click the left corner of the bar to right corner I also uh, use shift to restrict its movement to horizontal way and then I click the right corner and then what it says is, is it, uh, it, this one is 11 16 inch uh, but this one is 20 feet so what I'm going to do is I will change the unit to feet to simplify the scale calculation so I go to tool and I go to option and then unit is actually under document properties actually section and then I click unit so far now it is its model unit is selected as inches I change it to feet and then I click OK then it said do you want to scale down 0 0.5 and then I said uh, no so it will maintain the size so what we have to do is we have to calculate what is the scale factor to calculate to enlarge this small image to match that this one is 20 feet so let's just use calculator this one is relatively simple one so you probably have no problem uh, let's say my accessories and the calculator okay so what is the 11 16 is about 0 0.68 So what we know, it, what you want to know is what is the scale factor? This one to be 20 feet. So I just kind of divide 20 divide by 0 0.6875. Then actually the scale factor is now 29.0909. So I will use this number. So I don't need this dimension anymore. What I'll do is select this image and then I'll uh, type scale. There are many different scales so I'll just using simplest one, the scale. And then you need to select origin point which is bottom left corner and then it will ask you to what is the scale factor. So I will type 29.0909. So actually now uh, this one is the actual size in feet okay so uh, now this one is feet so actually when you draw but probably you may want to use inch scale so I'll change it to uh, you need again from feet to inches to have more precise resolution and it will, it will multiply by 12 and then you say yes then even this one become bigger okay so let's kind of test it so roughly uh, the car's size is roughly, let's see, uh, this, if you measure this dimension, this is about 340 uh, inches, so it looks good to me. 
Okay, so this is kind of like I introduced you how to uh, import image and then matching its scale. So in the next one, uh, I will explain about just, just uh, a couple of basic uh, geometry making. Okay.